If we look at 2050, we know there's going to be more than 9 billion humans walking the planet. How are we going to feed those folks? And that grand challenge is really centered around the future of seafood supply to the planet. How can we feed ourselves and honor the planet at the same time? How do we create a fishery that is sustainable and honors the ocean that we're operating in? The open ocean offers the possibility of increasing fish production to meet the global demand for protein and seafood. We are fighting seven meter waves in the bad times, strong currents, and we are in the middle of nowhere. We have to be completely self-maintaining. We make our own electricity, we have our own ice. We need to do everything ourselves. We work on an operating farm we're also prototyping systems, but the goal is that it works here with Open Blue to make their lives easier and to make production more streamlined and more profitable. You can raise and lower the pen. So because you can lower it, you have the fish in a more natural environment. So they're not at surface pens getting jostled around. They're out of the current, out of the wave action in a much more natural, healthy environment. Grid lines run between the sea stations and create this backbone, this structure that holds our sea stations in place. They're very well built for this environment. They withstand a lot of wear and tear out there. If you can do it here, you can probably do it almost anywhere in the world. By using a small percentage of the available space to raise fish, we can raise the 50 million metric tons predicted to be needed in the next 20 years to support a planet of 9 billion people. Technology is the key. Innova C is helping us to create the technology that we need to be able to have less people and more knowledge about what we're doing. The ocean is a very unexplored place and there's, there's a lot of questions right now. There's a lot of fish stocks that are in trouble as far as we can tell. So being able to take measurements of salinity, of ocean temperature, of oxygen levels, of all sorts of different metrics like that is going to be really helpful for both scientists and aquaculture. Instrumentation on a farm supports better understanding the environment in which the fish is in, the stresses that the fish may be seeing, that coupled with optimal feeding enables a minimal environmental impact. On the side of the farmers, they have livestock that they're trying to manage and make decisions about. Feed levels, position of the farm in the water column. The customer can decide what metrics they're looking to track very close to in real time. That communicates with a number of our other products as well as the cloud. The next level is instrumenting the biomass itself. So using artificial intelligence and machine learning so that you start to understand what's going on with the fish themselves. The things that researchers are looking for for their wild fish is also a lot of the same metrics that, that farmers are needing to know, especially with the temperatures and the oxygen and salinity levels. We have a wide range of customers, but they all need to know specific information about their animals. And that's what we provide. We're working very hard to create new ways of getting that information back to the customer, of being able to share that information as well. We have lots of customers who have tagged individual animals that travel far outside the range of the equipment that they have. But with some of our cloud technology systems, they're going to be able to know where that shark went. The fish farm of the future will be in the open ocean, further from shore, out of the conflicts of recreational use and commercial fishing. It will be more sustainable from an environmental perspective, and the fish will be harvested and raised in the most efficient manner possible. We've been working in the open ocean for over 10 years. 
We've now developed a full complete system capable of taking a fish from fingerling to harvest size. We've added the instrumentation, the ability to remotely monitor. We've developed systems that allow the submerged feeding of fish from a single pen to an entire grid. Uh, we're working with new species, so we see a, a real opportunity to contribute to the growth and advancement of this industry. And that, in turn, takes pressure off of the wild fish stocks. Where we're trying to just take care of the, the ocean in, in the ways that we can. There's so much unused space that nobody's using because of typhoons or because of bad weather. By having this technology, you can farm everywhere. Working with our clients, we've recently added in the land-based components, the ability to support a hatchery nursery so that a client can come to us and get a solution that'll go from egg to harvested fish. You still have all the information because of the data and the information system. And then you feed the fish from far away and you're still creating protein for the world. We have ongoing research about the impact we have and there is almost no impact on the environment at all. So that's why we are very sustainable. We are doing something that nobody's doing. Without InnovaZ, we cannot do this. We are going to change the world. Yeah? We believe that you can farm other places than people are farming now. So InnovaZ makes it possible to farm where no man has farmed before.